Hey everybody, Carter from Basement Pets here. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about tarantulas and the difference between arboreal, semi-arboreal, terrestrial, and fossorial tarantulas. I'm also going to be talking about the difference between old and new world tarantulas, so I hope you enjoy this video. So first off, I'm going to be talking about the difference between old and new world tarantulas. There's actually a major difference between old and new world tarantulas when choosing a pet tarantula. Old world tarantulas are from the eastern hemisphere in Africa, Asia, and other places in Europe, while new world tarantulas are from the western hemisphere. Although to many people this may seem very unimportant, it is in fact very very important. New World Tarantulas kick off urticating hairs from their abdomens for self-defense. When these hairs come in contact with skin, it can be extremely irritating. Um, it felt like I'd been rolling and stinging at all. Some tarantulas have worse urticating hairs than others, and the mild urticating hairs are sometimes compared to insulation foam. New World Tarantulas mostly rely on urticating hairs, which makes them better for beginner tarantula keepers, and urticating hairs can actually become more irritating over time, and people can develop allergies to them. It should also be noted that urticating hairs can sometimes be found inside the substrate of a New World Tarantula's enclosure, so sometimes it's a good idea to actually wear gloves when working in that enclosure substrate. The reason New World Tarantulas are generally better for beginners is because Old World Tarantulas are much more more venomous and fast, making them more suitable for an intermediate to advanced keeper who has prior experience with some of the slower, less venomous tarantulas. Although some people can start off with old world tarantulas and do just fine, it's generally best to start off with new world tarantulas. Although no tarantula venom is deadly enough to kill a human, some of the old world species have been known to send people to the hospital. Most new world species venom is often compared to a slightly worse bee sting as long as you are not allergic. Some new world species have worse venom than other new world species, so it's good to do your research. So now I'm going to explain the difference between arboreal, semi-arboreal, fossorial, and terrestrial. These things are used to describe how the tarantula lives, whether that be in the trees, on the ground, or even underground. It's really important to know which one of these your tarantula is because it really affects how you set up that tarantula's enclosure. Terrestrial tarantulas are probably the most common tarantulas and the easiest to keep. Terrestrial tarantulas are the ones that live on the surfaces of the ground and usually have a small burrow or they just hide in a hide. For a terrestrial setup, it is most important to have a few inches of substrate, a piece of cork bark, or a place for the tarantula to hide, and a water dish. The next type of tarantula I'm going to tell you about is the fossorial tarantula. Fossorial tarantula is one that lives in a burrow underground. For this setup, it is very important to have a deep substrate that can retain small amounts of moisture underground without molding. It is also a very good idea to include a hide and a water dish. Some fossorial species can be kept with little substrate, but this causes them to web all the way up to the top of the enclosure, and when you take the lid off, it causes a lot of stress and defensiveness because it's almost like you just took the roof right off of their home. I have also heard stories of certain species such as P. murinus digging too deep and starving to death when given too much substrate. So make sure you do your research on your specific species. Also make sure to keep in mind that most slings act like fossorial tarantulas. The next type of tarantula I'm going to be talking about is arboreal tarantulas. Now arboreal tarantulas are the type of tarantulas that live in the trees and high up off the ground. These guys obviously like an enclosure that's more vertical than horizontal. They also like a hide in their enclosure that's more vertical than horizontal. I have never kept a fully arboreal tarantula, but I've heard for some people it's a little bit difficult to feed certain species. Semi-arboreal is another way to set up tarantulas, and it can be super effective for certain species such as the GBB or Chromatopelma cyanopubescens. The GBB was my first tarantula, and it is known to live at the bases of bushes in the wild, making it semi-arboreal. Semi-arboreals are pretty easy to set up. It's basically like a terrestrial, but it needs some more tall decorations in the enclosure, which it can web onto. So that basically concludes my quick intro to the different types of tarantulas. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, it'd be awesome if you subscribed and hit the like button. And yeah, that's all I really have to say. Bye.